hey welcome back to let's play guitar today we are checking out how to play Versace on the floor by Bruno Mars this is again a fingerstyle arrangement and this is actually taken from my first part of the video which was the chords lesson and I did a lead guitar lesson as well over there so this kind of version is just the compilation of both those you know chords and the lead guitar so we're gonna play the bass notes from the chords and then we're gonna play the melody from the part uh, where I showed you how to play the lead guitar. I mean, it's almost, you know, the same. So if you have learned that version, this will be easier. All right, then let's get right into it. To play this song, you do not need any capo and we're in standard tuning. All right, so let's start with D over here. Just gonna strum down, D suspended, open on the first string, second fret, third fret on second string, second fret on third string. Strum down. Then you're going to do a slide from three to five on the first string. Go back to three. Go to two. Then go to open. All right, so. Once again, slide three to five, three, two, open. Then you have second fret on the top string. So you're gonna play that with your thumb over here. Open on fifth string. And then you have second fret on third string. So this is gonna be two times played, right? So, okay, so from the beginning. All right, then. after that, so you start with doing a hammer-on from first to second fret on first string. All right, pick that. Then you have third fret on the top string with your middle finger over here. Then you have open on third string. Then you have third fret on second string with your ring finger. And first string again, second fret. Right, so. Okay, so after that, you're going to play third fret on second string and then open on the first string okay so all right that's what you have till now after that so here you bring in your middle finger again third fret on the top string you're going to play that and you're going to play second, you know, second fret on the first string together. And then you have third fret and second fret again on the first string. So, from the beginning on this chord over here. Alright, after that. So this is open on the second string. Then you have open on fifth string and third fret on second string played together. And then you have open on the first string. Once again. So from the beginning, then you're going to play a D major. So you know how to play this chord? Second fret, second fret on first and third strings, 
third fret on second string. Just gonna strum that down. After that, you're just gonna repeat everything else is the same. This is all the same. Everything is the same. Alright, so basically you just repeated that segment twice. One was with D, D suspended and then was with the D major. Alright, so if I could just play everything once again from the beginning. this in the demo there might be little improvisations here and there so don't worry about that all right I'm, I'm giving you the main how to play the main finger style you know um, the whole arrangement so you can always you know have little improvisations you can create yourself so don't worry too much about that all right now let's take a look at the next part over here okay once again Okay, so what you have over here is fifth fret on the top string, fifth fret on second string, and fifth fret on the first string as well. Okay, you're just going to pick top string and first strings together, and then pick the second string. So, okay, then pick first string again. Next time you're going to again pick first string and top string together. So okay. And then once again first string. So once again. Okay. After that. So, 5th fret on the 1st string, then slide from 5 to 7 on the 1st string, okay? Okay? After that, so this is, so this is 7th fret on the top string, open on 2nd string, then you have 5th fret and 2nd fret on the 1st and 2nd string. So, once again from this part. After that you have, so, 7-7 seven, seven on 2nd string. And then you have open on the 5th string, 5th fret on 4th string, okay, so, and then you here you have 8th fret on 2nd string, and then 5th fret on 2nd string, so, and then you come over here, so once again, So here you've got third fret on second and third strings. Going to play second string, going to play third string, alright? Then you pick the top string, third fret, so then open on first string and you hammer on from open on second fret on first string. Okay, so after that. So it's still over here, right? So you're going to do 3rd fret on 2nd string and open on 1st string, okay? After that, 
So here you have top string open and second fret on first string played together. Third fret on first string. Okay. And then you have fifth fret on first string. So and then you have third fret on second string and top string open played together. Okay, so once again after this you want to repeat this part one more time. This part is played twice. So once again, one and again. And after that, so this is a hammer on from open to second fret on the first string and then again open. And then after that, you do this. This is you know just an extended version of A over here. You can do anything really. So what I do is okay. So open on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string. Okay, so. to third third fret the third string second fret okay so after that so open on first string pull off from second to open on first string okay so come back to third fret on second string so on A you've got open on fifth string and second fret on second string played together and then fourth string third string second string third fret and then second fret again so we're having a bar over here right on A so from the beginning for this part Again, slowly. All right, all right, the next part goes like this. Okay, so you've got third fret on second string. Open on first string, then second and third fret on the first string. So once again, okay. And then here you have fifth fret on the first string and third fret on the top string. You're going to pick them together. Then just the first string, okay. So, and then you have top string, third fret played along with second fret on first string. So this is a little difficult because you have your finger, you know, you have your finger slightly bent over here. So you're actually having a bar over here on the second fret, second fret, and then you, you know, bend your finger a little to reach that third fret on the top string. So, okay. Then again, fifth fret on the first string. So, next you come over here. Or just, okay, so here you've got 
fifth fret and fifth fret on first and sixth strings. So you're gonna have a bar over here, right? And you have seventh fret on second string. So then you have seventh fret on the first string. So that's all really that you need. So. You can play top string together along with it when you play the first string so next you come over here all right so once again so here you have third fret on the top string and second string and third strings are open and you play all three together three times again okay so okay so in total of four times one two three four first time is along with the top string then you have second fret on third string play it twice then open on second string okay so After that, so top string is open and first fret on your second string together, then third fret on second string. So after that, so here you're going to pick second string open top string third fret together then you have second fret on third string open on second string and then top string third fret fourth fourth string open third string open fourth string open again so so from this part again okay so you start with third fret on second string plate twice then open on first string Then you're going to play top string open and at the same time you can do a slide from 3 to 5 on the first string. Back to 3 on the first string, so. And then second fret, so. In the end you want to play top string second fret and open on first string together. So, okay, so, after that you have this. Okay, so you again do the slide from three to five on the first on the first string. Go back to three. Then after that, and then you have this is you know the same chord that we use in the intro as well. You need to play top string third fret and first string second fret together. Open on first string. Okay. Then you have third fret on second string, and again open on first string. So once again, okay. So you can play open on first string and third 
and fill up top string together. So, you know, top string and first string together, third fret and second fret, open on first string, and then third fret on second string. And if you want, you can play it together top string and first string open, or just first string, okay. Then again, second fret on first string. Okay, so after that, so here you have open on fifth string and third fret on second string played together. And with a little finger over here, you've got fourth fret on third string. So from from over here. Then after that, okay, we're searching on the safeguard, fourth fret on third string, then have open the second fret of a hammer on, on the first string, okay, okay, then come back to fourth fret on third, third string, so, The third fret on second string played twice so and then you come to you know the slapping part for the very end so so here you have open on fourth string then you're going to pick third fret on second string and second fret on third string together so then you're going to do the slap with the help of your thumb over here, right? And again, pick second and third strings together. It's all happening on D over here, right? So then you're going to do a slide from three to five with a little finger over here on the first string. So then you have top string third fret, okay? Play first string again, fifth fret, so then do the slap, so then again you can play the first string, so and then then after that, so here you have second fret on first string twice, and fifth fret on first string twice. Open on top string, and then second, then third fret on second on first string twice. So, and then you do the slap. So once again, okay. And then second fret on first string, and then open on first string. Okay. Then after the open on um, open on first string twice, you can again do the slap. Okay, so and then you can go to third fret on second string, and then just open on first string. Okay, so then after that. So third fret, third string, second fret, hammer on from open to second fret on the first string, then open and third fret on second string, third fret is, is played twice, so, and then go back to whatever we've learned from D major chord over here with the slap. After that, you can go back to, that's the end of the arrangement over here, and that's, you know, also, also the end of our lesson. After this, you come back to the whole, you know, verse again. You can start playing everything that we have learned from the beginning again.
right, so that's how you play Wasachi on the floor, a fingerstyle version of the song. You know, this doesn't have a lot of percussion in it, uh, unlike, you know, my other tutorials, other fingerstyle arrangements. And, you know, it's actually a great exercise, uh, a good song for your, you know, stretching of the fingers, because you have to stretch your fingers quite a lot in this particular arrangement. So that will be it for, you know, this song. And I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also check out more guitar lessons on my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.